when you step out there and you hear, you know, you, you see your parents in the stands and they're just proud of you because you got there, you worked this hard. It takes a lot of hard work to play at the Division One level. Over the past four years, the Indiana State women's soccer team has gotten to two NVC championships and has broken many records. My freshman year, I'll never forget that. We were big underdog. Coming in my freshman year, we were ranked, to, we were picked to finish seventh in the league, which is, I think, last place. Um, but it was bad in the season. It was pretty rough, but we just we turned it on in conference play and uh, we made it to the tournament. And once we got there, we were just, we were out to prove ourselves. The unique and challenging demands of being a college athlete is an opportunity that many may never experience or even begin to understand. We sacrifice a lot. Um, it's a completely different college experience than a, that of a normal student. Um, so many hours are spent. You get up in the morning, you go to practice, you go to class, you go to study tables as a freshman. You have to do all of the extra stuff that you would do for class, your homework, and you're on the road. 80% of your time in the fall getting all of that done. We sacrifice, we string ourselves out to the max. It wasn't always easy, but somehow the girls always found a way to make it work. Late nights at the library and long days on the road were all a part of playing a sport that they loved. But like any determined player, it was all a part of strength training and conditioning in the long run, and they conquered it like champions. Think that, oh, I'm going to be the injury type, I'm not going to have to deal with any of that. I'm just going to go through my four years, you know, have like the best four years of my life. But, you know, you, you hit some spots during your career where you have your highs and your lows, and that's what your teammates are there to help you with. The Sycamores put it all on the line when it came to the sport that meant so much to them, but it came at a very high cost. So I was injured my freshman year of high school, and um, then was severely injured my senior year of high school, so playing soccer in college was not ideal for my injury, but uh, I definitely sacrificed my body for um, playing. But all good things must come to an end. The ladies will be starting a new chapter in their lives come this May. It's just been all I've known for the last 19 years, so now going into the real world here come May 7th when I graduate, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be hard. It's going to be different, just not having to worry about that, not having something that, you know, I can, you know, I'll have school, but I won't have that stress relief. I'll have to find other ways to kind of relieve that, but, so it's been, it's been my life. After we graduate, I know we're all going to different states and we're kind of going all over the place, um, but I know we're still going to talk all the time and when we do see each other, it's going to be like we never left. They were more than a team. They were a family and bonds like that are impossible to break. We used to stay up really, really late whenever it snowed out because we would think we were going to get a snow day, which we realized really quickly doesn't happen at Indiana State. <laughs> we would stay up super late watching One Tree Hill, and then go, and we, would, we were waiting for the text to come that practice got canceled. We'd have to wake up for like 5 a.m. waits, and it wouldn't be canceled, and we had only slept for like three hours. So We're together 24-7. Um, during season, it's more... Um, about the soccer experience and then kind of out of season you know we get to do more fun things so but what it doesn't matter what we're doing we're always having a good time and once I got here I wasn't sure if I was going to get close to everybody like I did but honestly they've become my best friends um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world they I mean they've been a huge part of my life and they always will be. Soccer was more than just a game for the Lady Sycamores it shaped and molded them into the people that they are today and the people that they are yet to become. It's definitely changed me for the better. Um, I realized that you have to be, I realized what mental toughness was. I realized time management and it, how to deal with adversity, how to deal with all different types of people. And it made me more outgoing. I was kind of shy when I was younger. All of the years of soccer, not even just college, it brought me out of my shell. And I wouldn't be a PR major and like doing, having the opportunities that I have if it wasn't for soccer. Um, I would just tell, you know, if I was back in my freshman year to give it everything I got and, you know, not to leave one day behind because your college career truly goes by, you know, even if you're just going to school or if you're playing a sport, it goes by really quickly. It might not be a typical college student experience, but I mean, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I mean, I love it. I, I mean, that's all I can really say is I love it. You don't really miss out on that much just because you're playing the 
sport you love next to like your best friends. So you really don't give up much if, if you love what you do. So it's not really a sacrifice. The ladies know that no matter where they go or what they do, they'll always be an Indiana State Sycamore.